paying money to be there or having to be told that uh, you're trespassing. And, uh, what we're seeing in the downtown area is um, it's becoming more and more a place where people who have money can go down there, buy things, and they get in their car and drive out again. And that, there's no real life there, no real community there. And downtown core should be full of life. This, this should be the center of the city. Um, all kinds of activities should happen there, not just buying and selling. And so what we're wanting to do is to tell people that they have a choice in this. I think it will create controversy, and that's the whole point of it. The whole point is to polarize the positions of people involved in the issue to a point where it becomes very clear which what the polls are so that people can then start engaging in dialogue. Right now you just have a one-way process happening where the powers that are in place are moving along and making decisions for people. It's pretty silly to have to go out and put yourself in a position where you're up against the cops or whatever, but it just goes to prove whose side you're on, who's paying them. <laughs> So come down and join us. We've got some steps set up. We've got tons of stuff to plant. We're going to have lots of fun activities all day. It's really easy to get in. Come join us. Yeah! Yeah! And then also, the city owns its property. And they're in the final negotiations of selling it. So it's going to become private property. No one's going to be able to be here unless they have money. It's a really unfair thing. So come on down and help us out. any more coffee or parking places and that we live here and that if we can have um, some place for kids to go downtown and families to be that's beautiful that that's all good what do you think Morgan? Good idea! Yeah. So you understand what I'm, what I'm asking you? And I'll let you guys stay in here and do whatever you're doing. You're being peaceful, huh? Well, how long do you want to be in here? Well, you can't camp out because you can't camp in the city. Okay, fellas. You understand they're trespassing, don't you? Okay, do they understand that? Yeah. Okay. Narcotics, you don't want your kids to get stuck on it, so just keep an eye on the little ones.
Well, I think that in, in our society, direct action is often the only way that change happens because although we elect officials to to represent us, they don't really represent our interests as the public, they represent the corporate interest. And so um, direct action is a way of speaking out and telling people exactly what the community wants. Yeah, once, you're, once you're in, you're in, or if you want to come out, you can come out, but nobody else is going to go in. Okay, okay, thank you. You can't go back in, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can't go back in, I'm sorry. Okay, I can't afford one of these. <laughs> the police came to me, the uh, commanding officer came to me and said that she's perfectly content to have people down in the pit. However, she would like to have people off the line. Um, I went and talked to the people who are hanging right now. What they said is that they don't want to come down. They want to stay up there until several demands are met. And the first demand is that there's a public commentary period, an extended public commentary period, about the future of this pit. And the second demand is that um, until that, uh, that period is over, that the pit remain open, that people will be able to come down here and garden and play around and do whatever they want. The negotiations uh, will really have to wait until the city council or other city officials can convene, and that probably won't happen um, because it's the weekend until, you know, for several days. For the time being, it looks like we're essentially at stalemate. The big thing is that you all seem to be fine. They haven't made any mention of, um, of uh, arresting people who are coming out. They said everyone's free to leave and not letting other people in, as you probably know. I would like to see more discussion about the uh, uh, general plan for downtown Bellingham and how we can create a more thriving downtown, a more people-friendly environment, a more pedestrian-friendly environment, a more bike-friendly environment. And I think this should be on the table too as part of that plan.
here in support of us, I think. And you need to let everyone you know know what is going on. Because the press isn't here right now. All we have is our own cameras. And all, and all that's going to get out is their story. So we need to stick together, whatever our level of involvement, and support those who have different levels of involvement. So please, recognize what we've done here. Something so utterly amazing that we cannot let it be squashed with intimidation, fear, and brutality. You've got to take a stand, because it used to be all public land. It wasn't owned by anyone. It's a problem with capitalism. It's eating our earth and destroying our communities. We want a park! There's people who are going to commit civil disobedience if the police come. We are not going to move. We're going to lock ourselves together. Some people are not even going to lock. They're going to stay here and go limp. The police are going to have to carry us out of here. barricades and off the fence. And I need you to back up off the fence too. Hey, not Do you need to push me off, sir? I need you off the fence. I was just enjoying my evening on this public sidewalk, I'm sorry. rights and uh, tell him what yeah, he's being arrested for. Or, or did you forget rights? that part? Sounder tonight. You and I'm sure God, I you say. all will too. This man is one of the most. Yeah. He's one of the best citizens this city has. So he does tough. more to organize for for community and for this community than you can imagine.
so fucking helpful. Thanks for showing up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Body, it's a soul and a heart and somebody's son and daughter. Oh, uh, we don't care. all night if that's what you decide. I'll support you if you come out and you go to jail. You guys have done so much already. I mean, like, like everyone now, more people are out there with petitions and everything. Poor take courage, you rich take care. This earth was made a common treasury for everyone to share all things in common. All people want. The orders came to cut them down. We come in peace to dig and sow. We come to work the lands in common and to make the soil grow. This earth divided, we shall make whole. And it will be you It is absolutely amazing how this event has just sparked us all into such immense creativity and cooperation and getting to know each other. This is no longer the original organizer's event. This is no longer, it never was, our park. It's everyone's park and it's just amazing that everyone's still out here and we're just going to keep fighting. So I basically just want to say that if you don't see some of the familiar faces around, it's not because we've forgotten or anything, it's because we're sleeping and we're resting so we can come back and fight even harder soon. Hell yeah! So, but what that means is that we're going to need some other people to take some responsibilities. As I got keepers from the auctioneer.
we have a growing roster of businesses that support the park. We got 1,400 signatures on the petition right now. I predict by tomorrow I could be up in the multi-thousands. Really, everyone's going to think this is a cool idea. I mean, this is a great way to revitalize Bellingham. We need a beautiful spot downtown. We got too many buildings that are vacant already. So there are 18 people in jail. There's a group of eight women. There's a group of three women. Then there are two boys who are separated. They just themselves alone. The other thing is that, okay, there's five boys that are all together. And I just talked to them. When they think it through, they, everybody that wants to come out and wants to get their name feels like they could do so much more on the outside. They feel like they're not accomplishing anything and that if they were out here, they could be here and they could, you know, help from the outside. They could go to the city council meeting. They could, they could, you know, be really vocal that way. And I think that I've really gotten a feeling that they're all feeling really isolated. Their visiting hours were cut off. They weren't allowed to see anybody because they wouldn't give their names. They haven't talked to any sort of lawyer. And the only contact they've had is like me on the phone. And so I think that that's totally affecting their situation. Whose rope is this? Is this our rope? That's our rope, Yes, our rope. That's fast. Hey, the fuck? Leave it alone. Let him go. Hey, go rest. Hey, hey, what are you doing? 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 Are you barricading us in here? Are you barricading us in here? Are you barricading us in or? Do we have to leave this area? We're going to be repairing this fence. Do we have to stay behind Repairing the fence. the fence? What's wrong with the fence? Come on out. The fence Come is intact. Come on out. You know, we could take it down if that's what you wanted us to do, but it's fine and it does need to be repaired. Oh my God. I'm not hard of hearing. Go ahead and clear out. I want everyone to notice that uh, the first thing that all these people are doing and they have a little bit of free space is picking up. Everybody's devoted to this park here. It's our park, we're gonna take care of it. No, I would like to have my drum here. Cheryl, baby, I have your drum, Cheryl. And I will thank you. Can I please just sit on the pavement with you? Can I have a seat? No, please, sir. I'm, I'm getting claustrophobic and I need, excuse me, sir. Sir, I will not take the stand fucking no! 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 Hey, Grunner, no, I'm, I'm paranoid! I'm not paranoid! Oh, it's okay, it's okay! Take her to jail. I'm going. What's she being charged with? What's she being charged with? <laughs> going away, so if y'all want it for your art project, you need to take it. If not, we're going to dismantle it and take it away. The, the thing is, is you right here are part of the art project. Whether
whether you want to be or not. It's fine with me. <laughs> You're agreed that people are going to come back in with you. No. Well, no, it's not the, it, the energy is waning. We, it's just like they want to move to a different, move to a different position. I don't. I'm sorry. I didn't even put any pressure. I was just thinking of that. We love each other. Yeah, so much. And I was just thinking of how beautiful it was going to be to bring you guys to Colveda. Like the whole place would fall down. You guys are like fucking heroes. Should I present it in this manner? Uh, they want to know how you want them to be involved, do you want to join up with them and maintain, or do you want them to come out and go towards a different path? Is that what I'm asking? Yeah. We have an announcement to make. Tomorrow uh, there's going to be a rally here at uh, 12 o'clock, and we're going to be unlocking that gate, and we're going to be sending stuff up. and. We're coming out at one o'clock to be with y'all. Because we, we think it's really important to be with y'all and uh, help fight in other in other areas. Incident commander, I represent the city of Bellingham on this particular incident, and I've made an agreement with these seven people here that they voluntarily leave this area by three o'clock today. And I give them my word that the city attorney will not prosecute them for this event unless they do a similar event in the city within one year. In return, they have asked me if their friends could come down here and help them clean this up, and they give me their word that they would have them out of here by three o'clock. And by mutual agreement, I'll go along. So let's salt, go ahead and get your friends on here, start your rally, and we got about uh, three hours and 15 minutes. All right, cool. Okay. Thank you. Woo! You can do it! You're allowed to come down. But, but, yeah, but we have to get out of here by 3 o'clock. So everybody should Woo! come help us clean everything up and make this place look nice. Right now? Several years, but 
that process was not representative of the public. It actually was decided by a, kind of a kangaroo court type thing. Yeah. People want a park here. And the people want to be involved in the future structure of their community. We gotta keep going. Not. We just gotta find different ways to um, keep this action going. You know, like right, lobbying other politicians. I just want to recognize that and say thank you to everyone who's been here and supporting what's going on, because it couldn't be done without all y'all. the Bellingham Police Department, thank you very much for your cooperation. One day we went into the pit, and of course I'll never forget how exciting it was that day. So perfect was the weather and the community gathered together But the feeling I can't explain We didn't know what to expect Maybe a bunch of arrests Maybe no people would be there But so many people came down With pickaxes tore up the ground Planted flowers everywhere Strangers talked to each other and painted together Laughed together and sang together Worked together and played together we don't need corporations, use your imagination. What kind of place do we need? Not another Starbucks and other corporate schmucks. Just a place to gather for free. Colorful slogans fill the walls. Divisions are artificial and racial profiling demand freedom. Community grows, capitalism kills. Never forget everything is possible, everything seemed possible then. The media came and left, then the cops started to arrest. People didn't want to leave, locked arms and legs together. Copies paint, compliance pulled hair, for many it was hard to believe. The city painted the walls gray, so no one can see it today. We have stories to share with friends, and we're left with court bullshit, and sometimes I forget. How beautiful it was then Strangers talked to each other and painted together Laughed together and sang together Worked together and played together